Hi, and welcome to VTuber Talks with Akapalisa. I'm here with Amanda. How are you doing, Amanda? Hi, everybody. I'm good, I'm good. So, first things first, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, hi. I'm a Malaysian V streamer based in Malaysia, lol, obviously. Uh, but <laughs> it, yeah. How did you come up with your name? This is a long story. It has okay. a little bit of like, I have to give you a bit of context, um, cultural context, okay. <laughs> if you will. Um, but yeah, in, in Malaysia, this term banana is basically like uh, when, because I'm a Malaysian Chinese, right? Mm-hmm. But then, uh, and you know how we, we call Chinese people a bit racist, but we call them like yellow skinned. Right. So a banana is yellow skin, but they're white on the inside. So like, um, I grew up very influenced by mm-hmm. um, English or American media. Uh-huh. So, and I also don't speak Mandarin that well at that time. So a lot of people would just call me a banana, okay. like jokingly or whatever. Like, oh, you're a banana, ha ha ha, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just me, but like everyone who is Chinese but don't know Mandarin and things like that. Yeah, they're called banana. So I was like, okay, I'll just take this name, this this term, and make it into part of my identity. So I was like, yeah, I'm a banana. Yeah. There em- we go. Embrace yeah. it and bring that, that positive spin on it. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you call me this? Yeah, I am that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what of it? <laughs> yeah, take that, huh? Ah. <laughs> Do you have a lore? And if so, could you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, my lore. Okay, so I didn't have a lore because I was very new to this whole VTuber thing. I jumped into this whole um, thing without essentially preparing for anything. So <laughs> I didn't even know that people had lores. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on a previous podcast... They were asking me the same question. I was like, uh, 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 I don't know. So we made up one in that podcast. Okay. And apparently, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit dumb, but <laughs> the lore is, because um, I live in Malaysia, right? And there's a lot of banana farms here because it's a tropical country. Mm-hmm. So one day in this random farm, this couple um, it's a, went to this banana tree and they cut open the banana heart. But you know the heart at the bottom of all the banana bunches? There's like this fruit thing. And they cut it open, and I'm in there, and then I'm like, da-da! <laughs> it's me! Here I am. Surprise! Yeah. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> when did you start streaming? The exact date uh, would be March 22nd. Okay. My first ever stream on Twitch. It was very chaotic, horrible, because I didn't know what I was doing, but yeah. And what got you into streaming? I actually wanted to be a YouTuber, mm-hmm. um, beauty YouTuber or K-pop YouTuber, because that is what nice. I'm interested in. So either K-pop or beauty, or maybe even a mix of both, like K-beauty and things like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I was also very insecure about myself, I guess. Okay. Like putting myself out there. So, And then one day I was just looking at Twitch. Because um, I do play games before this, and whenever I play games, I get very noisy. <laughs> and then my brother, he was like, hey, why don't you try streaming? And I'm like, oh. Oh. <laughs> then I, I went on that. Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Then I went on Twitch, I did some re- research, um, stalked a couple of people. Nice. Just to see how, <laughs> just to see how like, uh, they do it, you know? And then I found out that there's this thing called a VTuber, like you can use an avatar mm-hmm. to stream. I was like, oh, hey, <laughs> a new whole, a whole new world opened up. Then I was like, yeah, maybe I can do that. Then I just, I just did it. We've already talked about your law and why you became a VTuber. So how did you come up with your original character design? Um, I was googling researching like how do you make an uh your avatar by yourself because you know because i just started out right so obviously i can't 
I can't afford to commission an artist and everything. So I was like, okay, how do I do this by myself? Mm -hmm. Just to start off. And then I found this um, program called Vroid Studio. I'm sure a lot of VTubers know about this as well. Yes, that's what mine's been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I was like, yeah. Then I went on Google. No, not no, Google. YouTube. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube. And I searched a couple of those and I watched a couple of videos. I was like, you know what? Let's try making my own avatar. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. I didn't plan. I didn't like draft out a a model or anything beforehand. I just went into the program, saw what they had, and it went from there. Yeah. Do you have any preferences or restrictions on what art can be made of your model? I'm okay with whatever in moderation. Like there's this line that like like a certain I guess basic respect that needs to be kept. Mm -hmm. or needs to be given to um, another human being regardless of who they are so as long as you keep that line i'm pretty much okay with anything okay. really yeah do you think or do your friends think that your voice matches your model mm, what do you think mm, well my my standard answer for this is, is well i don't know anything different so yeah I feel like we know the answer to this, but is it your real voice or a character voice? This voice? Oh, uh, uh, I, <laughs> it's my real voice. <laughs> so I, said, I think we know the answer to it, yeah. <laughs> Some people have character voices, you never know. <laughs> Do you ever feel self-conscious when you listen to your voice in VODs or videos? At first, yeah, like in the beginning. Mm -hmm. For sure, because I never really properly listened to my own voice for so long. So, yeah. yeah. But you've gotten more used to it now? Yeah, now i got more used to it. What makes you keep wanting to stream to this day? My community, my chat, they really helped a lot because I'm sure you know as well, the whole interaction that you get with your chat and your community like, I, I actually really love that. That's why I keep doing it. What do you hope to achieve during your VTubing career? Like, what are your goals and aspirations? I do want to turn streaming into my career. Like, I want to be a full-time streamer. That is definitely my goal at the end of this. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, follower count, viewer count, things like that. I don't really want to give myself a number because mm -hmm. then it's like, oh, it's just going to be about numbers now. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I guess as I want to reach to the point where I can live off streaming full time. I guess that would yeah. be a better answer. What is something that you've really enjoyed about being a VTuber? This is going to be, this might sound a bit superficial or anything, but like the fact that I can change my clothes or hair color in, <laughs> I don't Just know, like two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And if I want to, I can do it every day if I, you know, am mm -hmm. not that lazy or whatever. But yeah, the fact that I can do that is pretty cool for me. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Can also, also like, um, the fact that my model, my VTuber model, is a sort of security blanket for me, so I don't get judged okay. based on my on looks. looks. It's gonna sound very... No. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so I... I yeah, I don't get judged based on my looks rather than my personality and how I play or not play the game. <laughs> um, yeah. That's very refreshing for me as well, which is something I really like. Do you have any special skills or talents? Does uh, being able to speak in few languages a uh, skill? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what languages do you speak? I can speak English, Mandarin, um, Cantonese, which is a Chinese dialect, mm -hmm. 
uh, survival Korean and survival Malay. What do, what do you mean by survival? <laughs> like, like if you, you chuck that? me in the middle oh, okay. of the country, I might be able to survive. Okay. But, so yeah. you can ask, where's the phone? Where's the bathroom? Where's the? <laughs> How do I call the police? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Where's I can food? I can buy myself food. <laughs> I can yeah. find shelter. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I mean, that's handy. That. <laughs> what got you into gaming? I've always liked playing games ever since I was young. Um, so the very obvious ones like Maple Story, Sims Four, Three, Four, Four. I think it's Four. But yeah, um, as well as. You know, you know, like long time ago, there was those um, roller coaster tycoon kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and then Facebook had the game as well, the cat game where you had to, I don't know, be a cat. Um, <laughs> it was like on and off, so mm -hmm. I would play it for a couple of months, and I'll stop, and then I'll do something else, and then I'll come back, and then when I finally got a phone, like a touch screen phone. I was like, oh, I can now download games on my phone. So that happened. And then this big game called Genshin Impact yeah. came out. Mm -hmm. hey. The one that then... you've given all your money to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> uh, my, friend, my friend was playing it, and then there were a lot of ads at that time. Like, whenever I... Yeah played something else, there was the Genshin Impact app. Then I was asking my friend, like, hey, I saw this game, is it good? And then she was like, yes, do it, play it. And there we go. My soul is now um, lost. Belongs to Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> and your yep. wallet. My wallet too, <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> what types of games are your favorite ones to play? So, mostly... I would say RPGs. Mm -hmm. I would like to be good at first-person shooter games, but I'm not because I can't aim for my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess mostly RPGs. Do you watch anime? And if so, what are your favorite ones? Ho, ho, ho. You can't give um, multiple. I would consider myself a new... New to anime almost, because I started watching anime, I guess, two to three years back. That's when I started to yeah, properly same. start watching, mm -hmm. because because I had a Netflix subscription, and there was a lot of animes in there, so I was like, yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. I'm paying for it, might as well watch it. True. And then <laughs> fell down the rabbit hole. Um, That's it. But my favorite... My favorite, favorite, I always say this, my favorite, favorite, favorite anime right now mm -hmm. that I would literally force people to watch oh, gosh. is <laughs> I'm um, that time I reincarnated as a slime. Okay. I've heard many good things about that, yes. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and yeah, I would say I like watching isekais. Mm -hmm. I'm very much into isekai. If I know a anime, an anime is an isekai, I would definitely watch it. And yeah, it's a very... but yeah, my favorite is still yeah. the slime. What are your favorite animals? Oh, do you know this one animal called a capybara? I've seen a f one, like a few in real life in this, um, this kind of zoo kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's not really a zoo, but yeah, I, I've seen one in real life. They're so cute and they're so gentle. Uh -huh. And then and then they come to me and they, they boot their, their, their little noses and I'm like, oh, <laughs> so Sorry. cute. I'm like, yeah, that's it. My heart is gone. <laughs> but for pets though, for pets, I, I really want a cat. Oh, cat. Yes. Cat though. <laughs> do it. Do you have any hobbies that you do outside of streaming? I'm a huge K drama addict. Not just K drama, <laughs> drama in general. Like <laughs> <All right. laughs> Chinese drama, Korean dramas. Recently, I've been going to Thai. Just <laughs> all the drama dramas. shows. Yeah, drama. Um, and then anime, of course. And then I love reading books as well. Mm -hmm. 
before the whole lockdown, I loved going uh, hiking. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that's not possible now. So, yeah. When you're feeling low or unmotivated or like you aren't where you want to be at in your career, what do you do to bring yourself up out of that and to motivate yourself? Good question. What do I do? <laughs> what do you do? I I did. I did once when like pretty much at the beginning of streaming, like at the second, third month in. No, actually the second month in pretty much. I was like, um, I was feeling like I wasn't growing. Right. Compared to other people with similar um, starting points as me or follower count as me. Like, I I don't know. I felt like I was just being stagnant almost for like a day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that happened okay. for a day. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> um, I talked to my friends, things like that. And then... I just kept going back into streaming. Uh, But eventually, it just solved itself. Like, you know, I didn't really do anything much. I guess just Just, talking to other people, I guess. Just talking to your friends just helped you get Mm -hmm. out of that that little Mm -hmm. funk kind of thing. Now we have some questions from our communities for you. You ready? Nope. Nope. I know my community. I know. You've already the seen people most there. Of these questions. <laughs> oh, no. Who are your favorite K drama actors? There's a lot. I can't pick one. You know, I a when few. I first saw this question, I was just stuck there. I was like, Cole, wait. Let me How am I gonna answer this? You can pick yeah, more than because one. It, it, it actors, changes so. it changes every time a new drama comes out because you know True. You, you watch a new drama and you, oh, yeah. yeah, and then <laughs> and they get so kicked like... out of the house. <laughs> 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 I think one of the most recent um, K dramas that I finished, the Millie there actually surprised me. So I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting to like this guy, but I did. Um, his name is Jang Kyung. Mm-hmm. And he's a K drama actor, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, and then there's also another one called Song Song Kang, another actor. He's in a currently airing drama called Nevertheless. It's on Netflix. It's a very, <laughs> very um, interesting romance drama because Song Kang, his character, has a lot of red flags, shit ton oh. of red flags, oh. but. He's the male lead, and we gotta like the male lead, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, do we? that's what happened. Do I we don't have know. to like the male lead, or do we? Do we get to like to hate him? Oh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Is that a, that's an option too, you know. <laughs> you want him to be. You want him to turn good, good. for the no, female lead. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The kind of feeling. So yeah. What do you study at college, and do you plan on doing? An honors year or PhD? Mm, I studied mass communications. I only have a diploma, honestly, because in my field, um, I feel like, especially because I chose broadcasting, I majored in broadcasting, and it's really more about experience, work experience, especially in that field i'm sure no i'm sure a lot of people would disagree with me and maybe it's true but personally i decided not to continue to a degree and i just started working straight away i don't know if it's the right choice because look at me i'm currently (laughs) streaming on twitch (laughs) But, but yeah what is your favorite food and drink Oh, I hate it when people ask this question. Oh. Why limit me? Why limit well, me to, to just well, one okay. food? Choose your top three. <laughs> Choose your top three. It's still, it's still, Come on. it's like three It's better only? than one. It's better than one. <laughs> um, oh my god. I, I, okay, for food, I really can't pick because there's too many. There's too many? Okay. There's too many. You're a foodie? I, oh yes, yes. You know how some people, some people eat to live. 
Mm -hmm. I live to eat. Like, <laughs> what enough. are you on about? You know. <laughs> so what about what about drinks then? Drinks. Um, I love Yakult. Yes. 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 Yakult is yes. the best. <laughs> You know how you're only supposed to drink like one bottle a day? How many do you have? Um, not gonna say, but do like definitely not one bottle. Like six or twelve. Please tell oh. me you don't, you don't have that many. <laughs> not, 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 okay, okay not six. <laughs> okay, not good. Six. Okay, good. Oof. But like, pretty no, on a good day. <laughs> but like, <on> maybe a... <laughs> five. <laughs> <laughs> on the on a good day, if I'm if I'm like hungry or whatever, or uh -huh. uh, if I'm bored, I have nothing to do, or if I feel like splurging, <laughs> they sell in a six? pack of five. Oh, okay, they they sell in a pack of five, and I just finished the whole pack. What are your top five favorite K-pop songs? This. Oh, this is also it's very similar to that K drama question because it changes. Mm -hmm. Like obviously, Cur there's going to be new songs yeah. coming out. Yeah. Currently, oh, there's this new um, new song that came out. Mm -hmm. Um, just I think like yesterday or the day before yesterday, I really love the song. It's "Dum Dum" by Somi. She's an nice. incredible, incredible artist. I love her, and it's a song called "Dum Dum." Oh. There's another song, it's a drama OST. Technically not like a mainstream K-pop song, but it's still a Korean, mm -hmm. not really a Korean song. It's an English song sang by a Korean um, artist for a Korean drama, so... <laughs> Is it a K-pop song? It's fine, just, just count it, it's fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's, it's called uh, Love Me Like That. The artist is called Sam Kim. Okay. I love that song as well. Can I tell you my favorite artist instead? This is sure. too hard. I can't. Yeah, go ahead. Pick. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, my favorite K-pop artist, definitely hundred percent. No, not hundred percent. Two hundred percent. Five hundred percent. All right. A thousand percent is Day Six. Okay. They're a uh, technically they're like a idol band, a K idol band. Mm -hmm. So they're like they're doing rock ish kind of songs but i love them they're my top 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 favorite group and they have a lot of got a lot of a lot of good songs i was almost gonna say god songs no no <laughs> good songs <laughs> um and i god level two and, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> god level songs <laughs> yeah what do you think of white chocolate i hate it <laughs> Absolutely abhor the stuff. It is trash, and I don't care who says it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> pretty pretty firm dislike. All right, moving on. <laughs> yeah, this might seem very random to people who are just like, are coming in. in. Yeah, yeah, but I have a. It's called the Great Chocolate War <laughs> in my community. <laughs> So yeah, if you ever come uh, to my chat, you're gonna have to pick a side. Are you a dark yeah. chocolate gang or are you the white chocolate gang? But what if you're milk? What if you're? Oh, then you're the neutral side. Okay, you're like you're Switzerland. The yeah, Switzerland, the innocent, <laughs> you know, one in the middle, um, neutral. Yeah. Fair enough. Are there any specific games that you would like to play in the future? There's no like specific games that I would want to play but a lot of people has been asking me to try horror games like phasmophobia oh, but but very big uh -huh. but yeah. um i don't do well in horror games you know i tried this one game called five nights at freddy's oh gosh uh-huh i had a mental breakdown during the second night because oh, it was gosh. so scary i was like i can't i can't i literally oh, wow. Just, I was playing it with my friends too, like in front of my friends, because they want to look at me play horror <laughs> games. Um, I don't know why it's a thing, but yeah. <laughs> and then, then I was like, literally yelling at them to take the PC away. I literally like <laughs> left the PC at a corner. And I just, I just sat on the floor and just like, nope, Aww. can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. and then my friend had to play the game for me. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 
when you can, where would you like to travel to? Before Miss Rona decided to come in and be like, yep, I'm here to stay. <laughs> um, I was supposed to go to South Korea for a working holiday. Because obviously being the K-pop fan that I am, <laughs> I have to go. Obviously. Um, obviously. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then, then I couldn't and we were stuck here and things happened, circumstances changed. So right now, right now in my current situation, I would probably go to Melbourne actually as soon as the borders open up. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite cuisine? The, the same question as asking my favorite food. Just all of them? Uh, all of them. <laughs> Are there any... This is probably an easier question. Are there any types of cuisines that you don't like? I can tell you the one food that I absolutely hate, that I wish that did not exist in this world. Like, I don't understand why people planned that plan. But yeah, I can tell you. That. Do you want that? Sure. Oh, you sound very passionate. <laughs> Other than white chocolate, of course. Yes. Um, white chocolate does not count. White chocolate <laughs> is an abomination that does not deserve to exist. But wow. <laughs> I hate spring onions a lot. Some people might call it oh, a, really? like a condiment a topping, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I hate spring onions. I love. I like onions though, used a which lot, is kind of weird. Right? In in yeah, Asian cuisine. Yeah, they're everywhere. I'm and like, they're why? Like put on top of everything. Yeah, because they're especially healthy. you know those 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 um hawker stall uncles. They like grab a whole handful of those stuff, and I stare at them. I'm like, why? <laughs> it's just like <laughs> <Yeah>. tiny onion. <laughs> <laughs> what is your most memorable teenage memory? This is like a love-hate relationship kind of thing, but yeah. I was a cheerleader back in high school. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, so like when I was 14, 15, all the way to 17, mm -hmm. I was a cheerleader. And I say love-hate because as much as I love cheer... No, actually, I was a cheerleader up until even college. So it's like 1920-ish kind of thing. But yeah, um... I was saying, I, I say love-hate because I love cheer. I love it. At the same time, I hate it because of the training. The training um, is very brutal. hardcore. Mm -hmm. Very brutal. Um, and there was a lot of... Like, if you're in a wrong uh, team or a wrong community, um, sometimes your coach or your cheermates, your teammates would make you feel bad about yourself for not being able to complete a stunt or something. Right. And, and were you it like can be quite of, toxic. Were you in that kind of community or? Um, I would say half-half. Like, there okay. are good peoples there, but there are also some people who are kind of toxic. Okay. And that's what I hate about it. But mm -hmm. I, on a whole, I still love cheer. I, yeah, it's it's been a huge part of me, especially in my high school years, I would say. If the internet didn't exist tomorrow, what would you do? I would die. I would survive, but yes. at the same time. <laughs> I, like... I guess it's the same for a lot of people. We rely on internet so much these days for everything. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's, oh, I don't want to think about it. It's <laughs> pretty bad. Mm -hmm. you know, I was saying there's this like questions, right? On Sometimes you see it on Facebook or whatever that would be like, oh, if I give you how much, how much millions, can you live in this place without internet for a month or something like that? I don't know. I'm very conflicted when it comes to that kind of questions because it's like, it's a lot of money. So I could do a lot of things with that money. But at the same time, there's so much on the internet. <laughs> if, it, if, if that was for one month, how, what, would your, oh. what would your amount be? Well, if it's for one month, then sure. I can live without the internet if you give me enough money to entertain myself with something else yeah <laughs> um, true yeah just go to the but for life other things yeah 
up for life. Or, <laughs> <You're> like, <"No." laughs> for life? <laughs> <laughs> Must I really pick? <laughs> How tall are you? I, I can tell you my RL height. Um, wait, wait. Okay, before that, can I just ask something? What is the average height for girls that you think is like... It depends on like... the country. Right? And right? Genetics. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm pretty tall for an Asian because okay. my friends, my friends who are girls, are usually shorter than me or around this... Like, the taller ones would be around the same height as me. Okay. But most of the time, they would be shorter than me. I am 166 cm. It's a 5, almost 5'5". Five five. It's not, I guess for you, maybe it might not be too tall. But within okay. my circle of friends, yeah. I'm usually like about half a head taller than them. Just a little bit. So yeah. What is your go-to outfit to wear IRL? My go-to style of outfit varies. I have two extremes. Like, okay. I could be either the girly girl, or I could be the bra girl. Like, the, the comfortable, almost guy-ish looking, like, the cool, cool, you know, kind of thing. Okay. But sometimes I feel like feeling cute then i just go to the to cute the side of <laughs> the spectrum but yeah so it varies it depends on my mood really okay but but definitely comfort for like first comfort first mm -hmm. for sure do you play any characters on stream or intentionally emphasize specific parts of your personality you know actually this ties back to why i like streaming um, it's not really that I play up parts of my personality. It's more like I am finally letting myself be who I really am inside because in real life, because mm -hmm. I'm also introverted and very shy. So unless you're my super, super close friends, you wouldn't usually see like the side of me on stream in real life. I would be a lot more reserved. I would be like, quiet i would be um less playful i would say mm -hmm. unless you're really close to me or you're my best friend then i would show the the super hyper um sometimes weird side of me mm -hmm. so but then on stream because i don't know i guess like i said it's like my security blanket almost so i just let myself be whoever i want to be and i don't to think about oh will they judge me for this or whatever so yeah and why did you choose a 3d model over a 2d model and would you become 2d in the future this is very realistic it's a very realistic answer the answer is just because a 3d model is free <laughs> <laughs> free and easier to make <laughs> um, i would love to go into 2d mm -hmm in the future because of the i guess the detailing that you can put in a 2d model is a lot lot more compared okay. to a 3d model and that would be one of my goals in the future um but yeah that's <laughs> the realistic answer is just because 3d models is free that's all Fair enough. yeah what kind of content do you produce so like music gaming variety etc I would say variety because I'm like, I can't say gaming, even though I do, pl I, I play games mm -hmm. in all of my streams, but then I'm not particularly good at it. I'm not like a <laughs> pro gamer. <laughs> so more variety, I feel like. Ending question. What are your socials for the ladies and gentlemen at home? You can check me out on Twitch. Definitely. It's Twitch dot tv slash amanda the banana with an extra a at the back mm -hmm. i also have twitter i also have a tiktok so i have this three um places that you can find me this was speech but talks with aka Polisa. thank you amanda for joining me no problem it was really fun i had a lot of fun here today thank you for inviting me no problem it was yeah. my pleasure yeah and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. 
Bye bye. I'm not I'm holding you, you here against your will, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, not much. Not much, anyway. <laughs> Just be like, um, let me draw a picture. <laughs> I want this. <laughs> this is what I need right here. <laughs> I should edit that and put like the weirdest picture right here. <laughs> this. This is what I need. You have this. Ugandan this. knuckles right here. Ugandan knuckles. <laughs> that would definitely Mostly. open up a, a, a whole lot of more games if if we could both <laughs> just shoot straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all the dramas I've ever watched. <laughs> Somebody gets pissed off and they're like, "Leave forever," and then you never see them again. And you're like, "Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, no. Wait, what? huh? Oh, okay, sure. Yep." <laughs> Are you looking at your Spotify uh, or something? <laughs> oh, that's a good. That's a good idea. Wait, wait, wait. Let me you're like, what do I play all the time? Yeah, yeah, wait, let me, let me go and see. See, I like all of them, but I can't, I like white chocolate. Hear me out, hear me out. Ugh. But I can't have much of it, otherwise it starts, it, uh, it's not, it, I don't know how to describe it other than it burns. <laughs> it like burns the back of my throat because of how much, how sweet it is. I can't, I can eat like one piece, but dark chocolate is good. I can eat as much as I okay. wanted that milk chocolate, okay. similar. But uh, like, See? I like, milk I like chocolate white is trash. I like white. Your... <laughs> I didn't say it was trash. <laughs> <laughs> I said I can't eat a lot of it. <laughs> wow, he man manipulating my words. I... I'm the editor. Shouldn't that technically be my job? Hold on, I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> you know, at this point, I feel like the the. Thought and the sight of spring onions gives me so much hatred in my heart that it's not really about the taste anymore. Okay. It's like, no, I have chosen. I have chosen to hate this thing and I will never change. Never change. The inner rage. The inner rage for spring onions is what fuels you. That's really how you deal with bad days. You think about the, yeah. the, spring onions and it and it snaps you out of it like that and and white chocolate yeah, yeah. <laughs> like oh oh whoa, hit that. i said oh, okay, yeah. hit there we go i am 175 centimeters tall <gasps> mommy mommy um, step on me <laughs> I'm five foot. I'm five. I'm, I'm five foot nine. No, <gasps> mommy. I'm not freaking a gosh. I'm not from Resident Evil. I swear. I swear. 